Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for your support. We've hit 600 subscribers and we'll keep going and continue and see how far we grow and look at different applications, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Online, and ArcMap issues and, and just learning together. And um, today what I've got is firesmoke.ca is the website and it shows active fires in Canada. And then it shows the smoke and we're in a bit of a situation in Ontario where the air quality index is quite high and, you know, it's uh, dangerous to your health, be outside in it. Various activities get canceled, like outdoor recreational activities such as golf and uh, soccer. Well, all kinds, everything basically um, is being canceled and students are being kept inside the classrooms during the day. And uh, yeah, so it's a um, bit of an issue right now. Firesmoke.ca is the website and it's interactive. I'm scrolling in right now. And you can pan around and you can see the fires in the red. The smoke is in the sandy to dark brown colors. And that's moving as the time slider down the bottom moves. And it's in the parts per million, ranging from one to above 250. So we have layers on the top right. So we could change this base map layer. And you can change the forecast to daily average, hourly, daily maximum. So the red dots are, they can be toggled on and off the fires. The forecast boundary, I mean, you're going to get some in actually most of the United States too. So that boundary is the, the box. And satellite hotspots. Okay, so yeah, those are clusters. And you can see there's 55 right now in Quebec. There's a, you know numerous uh, forest fires, which is causing this air quality index to be uh, quite high, parts per million. And it's, it's uh, going down into the United States, down into Philadelphia, Washington, and New York. A big plume over Toronto, Ro uh, Rochester, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, which will be tomorrow morning. So it's overnight and tomorrow morning it uh, will be significant over Toronto. It'll be into the over 250 hertz per million. So let's click on the information. Looks like you can download some of this information as a KMZ file. So yeah, you've got the pause button, you've got back, you've got forwards. So let's say, you know, we want to look at um, three hours from now, that would be 2 a.m. And then we can you know, basically, it's the same way as a weather forecast, as a radar. Yeah, so lo lots of fires in Quebec. Loads of fires in Quebec. Previously, it was Nova Scotia a few weeks ago, or a week, even a week ago. It was having having uh, serious forest fires, and there were loads of evacuations in uh, Nova Scotia. But it's uh, now it's Quebec, and that air is being blown down into the northeast United States. Anyway, that's what I've got today. Firesmoke.ca. Uh, look it up. 
yeah, hopefully everybody stays safe and uh, we'll be back outdoors playing our sports and and uh, having a good old time real soon. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos. Thank you. Thank you.